I want to take you into the eye of Beryl. These are always some of the coolest images. That's the stadium effect of the eye wall. Uh, as hurricane hunters were flying through earlier today, grabbing us these uh, images there. I mean, it's such a beautiful scene, but so much wrath into that eye wall. These powerful hurricanes like this here. Wonderful images there. All right, well, now let's talk about those four zone weather watchers. And uh, you see, we hit 102 today in San Antonio, and many of them around 100 or so. You have Eric and Bandera, Janice Curry in Lake Hills, Lisa Sabinaw, Chris in Alamo Ranch has 101. Kevin Hurt in shirts, 100 degrees. Joseph and Gillette out west, you know, 99 out in Rock Springs from Russell Annis. But the humidity has been lowering because we're not seeing rain, and so the soils are drying out, so we do not have that real thick heat index. It adds a little bit, but not as bad as 110 to 115. Roby Rodriguez Law, there it is. Again, all across our area, hard pressed to find much in the way of clouds. A few of them out there out west in the Uvalde. A little bit of Saharan dust. It's still with us, a light to a moderate amount. This will continue to decrease into your Wednesday forecast. So if you're suffering with the air quality with some of the dust settling, you're going to be in better shape tomorrow. Meantime, there's your Wednesday, mostly to partly sunny, slight chance with the sea breeze to our southeast for a random little shower. Most will not see rain. Thursday, some patchy early clouds. Your afternoon, unless we get a shower way down I-37, not expecting rain, certainly not for Fourth of July festivities if you're going to be out celebrating. And then look at this, next weather maker for the weekend, it's a cold front. Not for us. It'll drift south, fall apart, but this little axis of showers and thunderstorms could set up over us and part of the area, especially our northern tier counties over the weekend, especially on Saturday. Then the tropics. There's Barrel it's starting to look a little bit more ragged compared to 24 hours ago. That's good as it's feeling the influence of some wind shear and drier air. It's heading towards Jamaica, though. That's going to be a real tough pass for them. Again, some of the dry air on the western side being entrained into circulation. See, there's a push behind it. We also have some wind shear that's now starting to uh, sort of put some stress on the hurricane. And as it interacts with Jamaica and the high terrain, additional weakening is likely as it works its way across. There you can see, though, that's a, that's a major hurricane right there around Kingston. So you get some surge wind, flooding rain potential. Then it weakens as it reaches the Yucatan. This is the Hurricane Center forecast. And they're bringing it in just south of Brownsville. But notice this cone. I can't emphasize this enough. And they'll tell you, too, at the Hurricane Center. They did in their discussion. They're very uncertain as well. It could be in Texas or to the south. The modeling is really not clustered just quite yet five days out. This is the American GFS model. It actually has a hurricane coming into south Texas. And then it spreads some rain into our area. Meantime, another skilled global model is the European model. Look at this. It couldn't be any more different or in contrast. It goes west into Mexico as a strong tropical storm or hurricane. So when you look at the two comparisons, you can see which one has the tropical rain. It's the GFS. That's the bullseye. That's what many of you are hoping for. The European model has some rain, but much less. Don't forget our four zone weather app free download for your smartphone or your tablet to track barrel. 99, your forecast high tomorrow. We look at the seven day forecast, 100 degrees Thursday, Friday. Over the weekend, some Saharan dust. Watching the tropics next week, 30, 40% rain chance. There you have it out west. Hill country, we've got the 90s, a weekend rain chance, and then more chances next week. And here's a check of our eastern zone.